I'm just wondering around having a look, man. Good. <laughs> this is a, a this is a funded uh, tax dollars, right? Like a city funded? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Not city. Our landowners they pay a, an assessment each year. Okay. So oh, we okay. don't charge them for delivery of water or anything oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So would this be considered private property or public property? It's it's public, but we keep people off of it just because uh, you know we have uh, liability issues if somebody right, falls right, off right. into one of the ponds. Or right. right. So, so as far as like beyond that gate, we can't go back there. And stuff like that. You can walk back there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But actually, past beyond the gate, you can walk back there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. Today, I wanted to share a video we did at the Rio Rosedale Water District. It was a simple audit, nothing crazy happened. It was actually pretty refreshing, though compared to other interactions that we've had. And let me just say this, this is a perfect example of how all tax funded companies and organizations should conduct themselves when the public is there to record. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor and watch this audit. What's going on everyone, Sam Joaquin Jr. here. We are at the Rosedale Rio Bravo Water Storage District. Eight four nine Allen Road, yeah. Bakersfield, California. I'm out here with San Joaquin Audits, San Joaquin Biotransparency. Just so you guys know, this is all publicly funded. So we have a legal right to record here. As well as ask as many questions as we need. Hmm. And I take it this entire area that's fenced off. Probably something they manage. This is a, a this is a funded uh, tax dollars, right? Like a city funded. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Not city. Our landowners they pay a, an assessment each year, okay. so oh, okay. we don't charge them for delivery of water or anything oh, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So would this be considered private property or public property? It's it's public, but we keep people off of it just because uh, you know we have uh, liability issues if somebody right, falls right, off right. into one of the ponds. Or right. Right. Or right. So as far as like beyond that gate, we can't go back there and stuff like that? You can walk back there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But actually past beyond the gate? You can walk back there. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. We'll have a look then. All right, cool. All right, what's your name? Great day, Zach. Zach, Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, Zach, that's my home. He didn't even look scared, offended, nothing. He was just like, hey, Zach. So my assumption was right, they do own all this. And they cordoned it off. Ain't she a beauty? Look at that pretty tree. Oh, she looks beautiful too. That's not a tree. <laughs> if 
five feet tower. <laughs> For reals, huh? I think my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Damn, this looks like a cool ass spot to run. It's accessible to the public. That's what uh, Zach said, right? Yeah. He said, you guys can walk back here. In the pond that they have, or like more back there? I'm guessing. Yeah, you're saying something that's not really a pond. Like, really. Yeah. Is that what you meant? But never know, so. I mean, he didn't allow us to do anything. I think when uh, the hours are closed, they close that gate right there and then you can't come in after hours. Probably. And then, uh. You said, I mean, they don't really seem to have anything out here. Damn holes. Smell like a giant ass hole where they keep watering it. Yeah, for sure. Definitely city funded, open to the public. Zach was cool, and nothing bad came of it. So personally, for me, guys, I'm going to give. The Rosedale Rio Bravo water storage facility a solid First Amendment. Pass. All right, guys, I'm out.